Hey there guys, something that I've been asked a few times because on many of the domes we build, we just use arches, but a lot of people love the little round windows like they saw in Steve's dome. You know, he's all perched up and chilling in the window and I actually love that idea too, but I've never incorporated the windows for various reasons, but I still get asked that question, how do I build the round window? Well, at, just like we've taught in our course, it's very much like building the arches. In fact, the building system is pretty much the same. The one additional tool that you've got to have is a slip roll bender. You can get these for a hundred, actually I've seen them for a hundred dollars at Harbor Freight when they're on sale from time to time. So with your slip roll bender, you bend EMT tubing into a circle. And, and <clears throat> it's important to know that when you bend it, don't try to bend it in the exact diameter that you need right away. S bend a large loop, tighten it down, and keep tightening it down and bend it smaller each time. And don't just run one piece of tubing through and then back it out and then run your second piece of tubing through because they're gonna wind up being different diameters no matter how hard you try. And then you're gonna have to kind of force it into place. So the way that works is you feed one piece of EMT tubing through and you make the bend for one complete radius for your form. And then you run another piece through and then you tighten it down and you run more through until you come to the diameter that you need because you're going to need two complete loops to create a mold and like this system for building arches you're going to place one by fours you're going to pre-drill your holes and place one by fours screwed together to create a rigid structure but a circular structure and then you're going to apply utility grade plywood to the outside of that and that's going to create your your inside form and then you need an outside form. So you do the exact same process, but this time you place the plywood on the inner facing surface of your round mold. Of course, the diameter of this outer cylinder needs to be enough, needs to be larger than the inner, inner cylinder by say eight inches, allowing four on each side, or 12 inches to allow six inches on either side. And having these in place, you, you find a level spot and then you put dirt or sand around the inside and around the outside of the mold so that no air creed will leak out. And then you put in a layer of reinforcing fabric on both the inside and the outside edge. And then you just simply pour your air creed in there and fill up your form. Let it cure for a week, um, even 28 days, because it is easy to crack. But after it's cured, remove the outside mold, measure the diameter all the way around. There may be some imperfections, that's okay. Find the widest point, and then you're going to cut a angle, cut in a circle out of your dome. And you do this by placing a nail into the side of the dome where you want your window in the center. You take a piece of string, you measure it, and using a nail or a pencil, you then go around and mark your cutout on the wall. So using a sawzall with a wood blade or even a hand saw, you then cut that circle out of the dome and that is the exact size for your window. But you don't stop there. You then come back and cut a angle all the way around the window, but just, just a slight angle. And then you get some help because it's pretty heavy. You're going three, four, five people and you're going to pick up this window and you're going to insert it into the side of your dome and then you're going to brace it with support. You're going to brace it, put it on blocks, brace it from multiple directions to be sure that it doesn't move. And then you're going to mix aircrete and mortar and you're going to then fill that angle gap that you created all the way around the window with aircrete so that it makes a new connection from the inside all the way to the outside and you're going to want to wet this junction down and let it soak in before you apply your mortar because otherwise it could get a little sloppy and it might slide out but that'll also allow it to bond very firmly to both the dome and the window form and after 28 days when this is fully cured take off your bracing uh, take out your inside form and proceed as you wish. So that's it. Round window forms in a nutshell. I hope you found that useful and you have a great day. Do you like these kind of videos? Well, how does a 10 week 
free training webinar sound where we'll teach you everything from making your own foam machine all the way to making blocks and stacking them in arches and building a dome absolutely free and all you have to do is click the link below in the description and sign up for our email list to be notified when this becomes available we're going to be making time for q a to be sure you understand every part of the process we're going to cut out all the bs and we're going to bring together the essentials so that you know everything in one place of how to build your own air creek dome air creek domes are just such a beautiful structure and they give us the ability to free ourselves from the rat race to free our minds to enjoy the energetic vibe that comes with a dome as well as live just live a better life it's like the foundational thing it's the step one of lifestyle design is having your own warm comfortable beautiful safe home so if this is something that interests you <clears throat> click the link below in the description and i'll see you next time